Hey, I'm Mike, and I've been selling some stuff on eBay for a while. I'm looking to get into Amazon. My wife is filming. Say hi, Lydia. Hello. And we went and picked up some stuff for Amazon and eBay today. We spent $50 at our local thrift store, and just want to show you guys what we got. We hope some of it goes for pretty good, and we think some of it will. We've been learning some tricks from some other people that put up videos. Hopefully they're... I think they're helping us out, but we'll find out if the money comes in or doesn't come in. Um, first thing I want to show you guys is the unusual piece de resistance. Maybe. It's a Willow costume. I don't know who's thought about Willow in the last, uh, what, three de two decades, three decades. But uh, people will be thinking of him this Halloween when you're wearing that. We don't even know. We couldn't find much on Willow. We couldn't find much to decide what to charge for him so we're gonna do him on eBay for auction starting at a low price and we're probably gonna put him up tonight because uh, Halloween's just a four weeks away and um, what we're, we're used to selling is books we do a lot of books on eBay which is a silly thing to do we should have been doing books on Amazon <laughs> from the get-go but uh, that's what we're moving towards right here is a stack that some I'm gonna keep, some are for me, but I think that this stack is probably gonna get about twenty dollars profit. Here's some sci fi books that are action books, I don't know, that are really not very expensive. It's always a bad idea if you want, don't buy one at a time, but since a lot of them have the same last name, you can sell them on for a lot. I mean, you can sell them as a lot for a bit more money than if you try to do one at a time. I would not advise buying fiction paperbacks unless you see a bunch for dirt cheap. Um, these are all about an action spy character named Mac Bolan. This box and that box. 60-some books about Mac. And, um, I think we're going to be able to get about... Uh, 35 profit out of Mac when he's done. And that doesn't sound like a, like much for 60 some books on a guy, but that, like I said, if you, we're getting them for a dime each from our local source, and so you might as well take them all, sell them for 60, and then after the fees and shipping and stuff, this is eBay, of course, after fees and shipping and stuff, get something. Um, here's this TV that we got. Um, the price tag says 30, but the guy helped us out with for it with 20. I mean, got got it for us for 20. That's gonna be. We looked that up. We think we could get up to 150 profit for it. That would be really cool. Here's a uh, some kind of drink maker. It's the Back to Basics Smooth and Freeze or Smoothie Freeze. That's uh. We gotta thank the Gilmans for uh, advising us to buy kitchen parts, uh, our kitchen items, and parting them out for a better value. We're gonna get um, some pretty good money out of this $5 investment here. That's missing a piece. We couldn't sell it whole anyways. It's missing a spout that you would do that with. And I would uh, say that, yeah, we couldn't sell it whole, but we can part out what's there for a lot better anyways. This is a little cargo hold thing. It's four little plastic pieces to keep stuff from moving around in the car and junk like that. We think we can get nine profit out of that. Here's two things, that, graphics that you put on a PS2 Slim. We think we can get about 22 out of that. And here's a book on tape, Debbie McComer and Susan Wiggs, that should be about... Um, what did we say about that one? Oh, five dollars. An Agatha Christie one. Read by... What's his name? David Su Suchet? I think it's David Suchet. David Suchet. Suchet sounds better. He should go with that. He's English. Okay. Well, whatever. But he can... Uh, that should be going for about twelve. We really liked the Agatha Christie movies where David Suchet played Poirot. These were free to us from our thrift store guy. So... We're going to see what happens with them. We scanned them with um, the app called, uh, uh, what's it called, Bandit Profit? Profit Bandit. Profit Bandit. Um, 
If they, I don't trust it. It sounds like we'll get a lot for them, but this don't look like much. So I think that I don't think you can trust your app all the time. This is this doesn't look like that. This is another one I'm a little uh, dubious on. This is a Fifth Avenue Crystal Sugar Tea Caddy. I looked in there. It looks really nice and new, like it wasn't used. Obviously, I'm not going to sell this for a new price, but it looks like the used price on this goes for like $22. And, uh, yeah, I, I picked it up for like 50 cents. I don't trust the setup. Here's the cassette. And uh, I didn't know until I started watching other people's vids that sometimes people will buy a cassette tape. We might get about 10 for that. Here's a couple Lego books. Well, these go together. Lego Monster Fighters, book one and book two for the parts. And we think we might get eight profit out of that on eBay. Um, yeah, if I'm not saying which company, just assume we're going to try to go for Amazon. But um, And then here is a big tub uh, full of Life magazines, like vintage 60s and 70s Life magazines and Saturday Evening Posts. And some of the Saturday evening posts I looked in here go back to, I think, the 40s. Um, hopefully that turns into something. I guess we're just going to kind of estimate and say we think we might get 100 profit out of it. This is a big, huge stack of those. Um, we think we think we can get about 440 profit. If, uh, if you don't trust us, if you feel like... Uh, we're just full of it, then I'll say, I think we'll get 400 profit. And uh, just remember, we don't even know what's going to happen with Willow. We don't know if we're going to put him up for 999 auction and he'll sell at that. Or if, I don't know how much interest there is in, in that, but Halloween's about to come up, so hopefully it, he'll sell for a lot more than that. He might not sell at all, but that's our situation. I hope you enjoyed watching us and we really have enjoyed watching and learning from a lot of you guys. Thanks.